Hi there, just a quick update on how Fortescue Limited is going, having reported their first half results. And in terms of the overarching picture for Fortescue, with, there's been a solid upswing in iron ore prices in the final six months of last year, and they have been able to capture that from an operational perspective in terms of cost discipline, amongst other things. And uh, that has translated to an improvement in free cash flow, which has seen uh, a reduction in debt and an increase in their dividend payment as well. So in terms of the top and bottom line numbers, uh, you've seen revenue increase by 21%. And that measure came in at nine and a half billion dollars. So that was a little better than what the market was looking for. Underlying earnings before interest, tax, depreciation, and amortization. Uh, underlying EBITDA. It's an important measure of how uh, the co company is operating from an efficiency perspective in terms of uh, its earnings. And that measure came in at $5.9 billion. So that was a little bit ahead of uh, the market's expectations as well. Uh, that measure up by 36%. Uh, net pat was up by 41%. So net profit after tax up 41% coming in at $3.3 billion. So that bottom line outcome better than what the market was looking at. Something closer to just above $3 billion was what the um, uh, average of analyst expectations centered on. So uh, central to the outcome, as, as I mentioned, is uh, the cost picture. So over the course of the half, uh, in a challenging environment, their costs were only up by around 2%. And in terms of what they were able to process, ship and sell, uh, those measures were down by around 2%. But so even though first half shipments were down by 2%, that was amongst uh, the best outcomes that they've had uh, for the first half. So that, in fact, it was the second highest on record. So that was quite encouraging as well. So all of that has translated to a fully frank first half dividend of $1.08 per share. So that was up 44% compared to the same time last year. And uh, that was a little bit better than expected uh, according to some analysts, but the market was looking for about 65% of net pat to be paid out as a dividend. So uh, broadly in line to slightly better. Looking ahead, Head. Their guidance has been unchanged uh, on uh, a range of fronts, so that is important as well in terms of uh, being steady on that front. So whilst these numbers were largely without blemish, uh, when you measure them up against analyst expectations, there was also a, a lack of a lever to drive the share price forward as far as looking ahead to the next uh, 6 to 12 months, even though they left their guidance unchanged. So they've done quite well in a market where the ASX2 has been under pressure. The shares have been up by uh, more than 1% for most of the session, uh, helped by that uh, boost in dividend at $1.08 per share.